Okay, so, audio levels are good, mic is recording, data is being written, let's check the laptop temperature, it's moderate, it's doing alright, I just took a fan to level 3 at it, and Mario is sick and tired of waiting around here. I never noticed that he had like a half gaze when you just wake him up. Like look at, he is, he's blazing in, his head is in the clouds and then all of a sudden he's like, oh he's still like that! Okay, now he's woken up. Welcome to Super Mario Galaxy. Two, ladies and gentlemen, where even though there's still a couple of stars that we could be getting here, um, it, we can go fight Bowser, and I think it's high time for us to do that. Bit of a spoiler, but there will be a little bit more after the fight, so don't worry. Also, I spoiled before there was 120 power stars, so whoops. Uh oh, my God, they look so angry. It is indeed time. Somewhere in there. Oh god. My princess is waiting. Are we sure it's not another castle? Or... Oh, what a surprise. It's an egg-shaped comet. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, this area is kind of badass. In all senses of the word. Alright. Yep. It looks like Bowser Face wants to get even bigger. So, yep. He's like, well, all right, I guess there's only so much an Italian plumber can do with his little stuff friend under his hat, but it's okay. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves Bowser's Galaxy Generator, quite possibly one of the most intimidating, like, titles you can give to your, your dungeon, basically, or your castle, or whatever. Nintendo has really outdone themselves. I mean, a Galaxy Generator? And then we've got his Fortified Fortress. So, really, what are we ashamed of here? <laughs> no, but this is quite possibly one of the more fun levels in the game. Although it is slightly frustrating, so... We'll just see how we get as we enter this giant area. What is going on over there? Why Why are we going over here? What's... I want to go over there. What? What's... It's, it's just like a giant dungeon palace. Oh, it's weird. How's it going? Mr. Luma. Lumele, Lumele. It's our fight saver special one, so that's very good. First, we must take a couple of precautionary measures. Screw you, Luma. You are misleading. If you wanted to be of any help, you would have told me there was a life stream here. So thank you. Okay. So the music in this place is cool. The It, it basically takes most uh, power-ups from the entire game here, except for like the spring mushroom to get through this level. So, I mean, it's cool. Also, I feel like we just... I don't know. Got into like a Sundance film winning music score here. Got some Disney ass music playing. <laughs> Alright. Not today, Hammer Bros. Oh, oh, I don't know how that happened, but there. I drop kicked you nuts. Quick, sweep the testicles. We'll do. Oh, we've got this. Very nice. So, this concept that we've only seen like twice, or maybe even just once. So, you want to watch out for these fireballs. They're going to be a pain. If you wanted to be cool, you could use the life mushroom and just, like, burn your way down. That'd be fun. But nah, instead we're just gonna go do this. Or actually, hey, there we go. So we got the spin drill. I'm going to need you for a little bit, friend. So we're gonna go drill through here. It's like, molten lava is falling everywhere. Alright, so now we've got ourselves bullet bills, or bonsai bills. I think that, I think that was the first episode where I, I was trying to make the distinction between the big bullet bills or the bonsai bells, because those always just look like erratic to me, as opposed to these ones, which just look like bigger bullet bills. I don't know. That's probably why they don't call them billies. All right, we'll go over here, and I do believe there is a life. Excellent. And we could actually jump over there. Dang it! I should have done it. I don't think it would have worked well for us, but here. Yeah, this is like some straight up Disney music going on here. <laughs> Alright, and here we've got a cloud section. Very nice. I'm a little worried about this because I have not practiced this in a little while. But that's alright because I haven't practiced much of anything else either. Alright, let's go across. Ugh. Dry bones! Cool. And this level's just, I don't know, it's like, it's just fun, I guess, I don't know. I find it enjoyable for being a Bowser level! Thank you. Uh, I think that gives us coins. Don't care about coins. So we'll go over here. Oh, no, there's that. <laughs> Alright, now let's wait a moment. 
Ooh. Make our way up. Ooh. Oh, that was good. All right. I'm making this needlessly more dangerous for myself. All right, and we're good. Cool. All right, Lumily, give me some good to eat. Yep, save your special one. What were you doing waiting here for me? I mean, I appreciate it, but oh, you know what? No, this part. This part I have trouble with. I think a lot of people actually might have a bit of trouble with this. But we're gonna try and do it flawlessly. Hey, damn it. Don't be a jerk. There, get out of here. And guess what? We've got ourselves Yoshi here. Although you do need Yoshi if you want the Comet Medal. Also, I kind of hate how that overrides the cloud power, as if that had anything to do with us. Alright, so we'll ignore that boomerang bro. Fly over here. I've done this part way too many times to count. Oh god, except for that, I forgot about that. Whoops! Also, screw you! Oh, taste of your own medicine, asshole. Come back to me, Yoshi. I'm your friend. So there's a pepper there. <laughs> you guys already know how I feel about them dash peppers. So where are you going? Wait. It's gonna be covered in lava, so this is obviously the greatest course of action. Alright, now don't fall in there. If you lose this pepper, you're done. You're done, -zo. So let's not. There we go. And this part... Are you guys ready for a little bit of auto-scrolling action? Get rid of the Kamek as soon as possible and just follow this bad boy. Make sure to keep Yoshi here the entire time. Oh god. Because there's gonna be <laughs> some parts here where you might lose him. And to be fair, you can probably do this without Yoshi. I just find it safer to keep him. All right, now we gotta go as quick as possible. Flutter, flutter. There we go, got it. All right, just gotta wait here. All right, okay, shit. This part sucks. Okay, now careful, see this blimp? Grab it and fly to the moon, Alice, to the moon! Oh shit, I need to go forward. Fuck, I might lose Yoshi, fuck, no! I'm sorry! Shit, yeah, lost it. Ah, uh, that was bound to happen because uh, if you go forward, you don't get as much height and that thing has a really, really weird sense of everything. God, we were so good. <laughs> and now we gotta do it again. God damn it, this is just like Bowser's Boom Day Machine. I'm just gonna suck it up. And I'm not gonna be able to do any of the cool moves. But should I cut here? Nah, we're fine. There ain't no need to cut here. We already done some pretty cool shit. Alright, so done and done. Just gonna... Ooh. Nope, just... There we go. Alright, let's go. Come on, Yoshi. Yeah. Doesn't really... Oh, no, 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 no. Yoshi, stop it. Ooh. Getting out of here. That will kill you instantly, so... <laughs> Good thing we fucked up early. Um, saved herself as a life there. We're just impatient. Also, that should have screwed me over. Yeah, that sucks, because that was basically the end. The end of days. Alright, and don't forget, take care of Kamek. It'll be a pain in the ass. Don't hurt Yoshi. Actually, I want to try something. I usually go on the right side. That's a little bit easier for me to read in. I didn't even realize I had no power shroom there. Um, I wonder if those giant magma monsters come up on the side you're at, or where first? Yeah, they do start on the side you're at, so. Whew. All right, come on, we'll go over here. All right, excellent. Now, I'm not gonna squander this as much. Uh, and we could just take the hit, no! Oh, mother of God. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Mario, can you ingest the blimp? All right, just go, just go. Quickly take the hit. All right, now juggle yourself. I'm sorry you can't join us here, Yoshi. Yeah, did you notice how Yoshi was just falling in one spot? That is how momentum screws you over with Yoshi. And I know I'm driving this point home by continually mentioning it, but I couldn't move forward at that point, no matter what. <sighs> okay, so I died once due to momentical farcism. It's the worst. Also, Bowser's master stripping pole here. <laughs> oh god, even that has just got that mischievous grin on his face. Alright, let's do it. Whew. I guess if you need more life, I'll give you a third one over here. Alright, if I had full health, I would have given him a one-up. I don't need it. Don't care. So there's one. And of course, why do they make us do this three times? We're gonna have to do this like 20 during the fight. Which honestly, this boss is kind of fun. 
I mean, it's it's definitely the hardest of the bunch so far, but still not that bad. All right, Bowser, take me with you. Uh, not into the dark matter, please. God forbid. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed. Uh, wow, awesome master plan. Way to go, 70s retro Bowser. <laughs> So, New Galactic Empire. Cool you jets, Rylokin. Alright. It's like, nah, there were no green pipes here. <gasps> Just the way she says Mario, that sounded so half-assed. Like, Mario, please save me. Get me out of this bubble. <laughs> that has made me younger. Stronger. Faster. Smarter, too. Nope, it's the ultimate fight against Bowser. Holy smokes. So, he is essentially exactly the same, except now he's gonna bring out all of the stops and probably end up murdering you in a multitude of ways. Look at this. Oh boy. I, I had to do less work than last time to avoid that. I keep kicking those. Why? So he's gonna do that, and then he's gonna summon the comets, and then punch, and then fire, and then... Uh, I, I guess they do come a little bit quicker, though. All right. Whoop! Hey, how's it going? Punch right here. I'll jump on this. Alright. Peace out. Ooh! Ooh! Right in the forcep! Oh my god! That would be painful. Could you imagine just like a giant blunt force of just natural rock just being careening towards your arm? That'd be scary. Also, this is horrible. Oh, phew, I didn't even realize that. Alright, cool. Oh, he punched me! Of course, I'm gonna miss. Miss the... Oh, yes, yeah, still got him. Oh, Bowser. All right, now apparently he's even more mad. He's like, that's the eighth time you've hit me. I guess tenth, something. Now he's gonna up the ante even more by doing the same thing <laughs> that is proven to be horrible. Now he's gonna flamethrower us. Go for it, Bowser. Go for it, except don't puppy guard me. I'm gonna go over here. This planet, in all actuality, should be destroyed by now. Alright, punch right here. Yeah. Do as you were told, big fella. Oof. Oof, right in the shins. Ouch. That must have been painful. Bowser might have to sit out a season or two. Who knows? Maybe he won't be the next villain in the next Mario game. People would probably lose their shit. <laughs> Alright. Do what we all know you're gonna do. Punch. And... Die. Are you ready? Ooh, right in the wrist. And once again, Bowser's heart shrunk one million times its original length. He was just an asshole and he fell. He missed his own throne room by a goddamn football field. Was... Oh, and then I guess I... Oh, what happened there? Did I collect a star bit? <laughs> but with that... Oh, we collected the last grand star. Sweet Jesus. It's beautiful, you guys. It's gonna be our 103rd, but... We did it. Just kidding. Oh, why did you do that? You fool. <laughs> that wasn't a chocolate, man. <laughs> Breathe a sigh of relief, because it'll be your last. Uh... The concept of having that self, like, satisfaction of being safe and then immediately losing it right after you get it, it's such a horrible feeling, you know? I don't know. I just feel like the last breath of relief that you have will be your last, I don't know. Anyways, this is all this fight is, is just kicking those towards his face and then aiming carefully. I like, <laughs> just waiting for him to get a little bit closer, otherwise I'll just sock you in the face. But he does give you quite a bit of time. Ooh, right in the eyebrow. You're gonna have to get those redone there, Bowser. Alright, there's that. Right in the nose. Right in the kisser. Alright, now for the final, final hit, which I missed abysmally. Is he gonna punch? Whoop! I missed. Alright. What? Why are you running in a circle, Mario? Also, that was going to go in his butt. But instead, there we go. Right in your kidney. Oof. He's done. For real this time. Uh-oh. 
A huge cake. Never got a slice. God damn that galactic shortage of eggs and flour. Oh. And at that moment, Bowser's heart simply just did not have the willpower to continue beating. And at that moment, untrepid antagonist has lost his life. <laughs> God, Mario's mouth is so huge in these cutscenes. But check it out. That reflection makes no sense. Mario is, and look at this little island. Bowser's little, I don't know, his dirty little secret. <laughs> he was ashamed to show it off, because in the end, well, he was never going to use it. We killed his son, we took his wife. It's all up to us. How's it going, Peach? So if you go up to her, she says, Thank you! Thank you! And she says it a couple different ways. Welcome. Also, if we... <laughs> You're welcome. She's beautiful. Thank you. Oh yeah, I guess this too. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's just collect the damn thing, shall we? Ugh. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Spoilers, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Comet Observatory returned. Awesome. Hooray! More vulgar Lumas. <laughs> oh, thank you for translating. What? Rosalina was in on this this entire time? Mama. Aw. Yeah, so maybe it was like that person in the comments said. Super Mario Galaxy 1 wasn't canon at all. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah. So in retrospect, I guess the Luma and Mario both found their special someone. Hmm. Also, this song feels moderately out of place with this cutscene. I knew its gentle pull would prevail. Sweet earrings, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's strange how strong a desire can be. <laughs> yep, we meet again, Rosalina. <laughs> it's a pleasure, I guess. Oh, she recognizes me. Mm. You're welcome. It was only our galactic duty to do that. Oh, now he speaks English. Hooray! So Baby Luma's assuming that he will never become a star. He will never forget us. That's good to know. What a nice compliment. Never ever. Could you imagine something that lives as long as a star? And they would never forget you? Oof. Pretty neat idea. But then, oh no. It took my trademark, damn it! How are people gonna know it's me now? How did you know about that, princess? <laughs> oh god! We had a room in the moment, man. <laughs> it's like, well, I, I guess Peach is kind of my special someone. 
Look how happy they all are. Jesus. All right, it's time to get us back to our home planet. Awesome. He was like, all right, you can go and do that. I'm going to go collect my reward from the princess. Quick, up my nose. That is where I sleep. <laughs> and with that, we disappear off into the nethers. And that is Super Mario Galaxy 2, ladies and gentlemen. By God. This project has been all but a long time coming. I know a couple people asked for it after the first project. But I wanted to give it a little bit of time in between other Mario games since I've been doing Super Mario RPG and I guess that might have been one of the more recent ones. Also this one I just wanted to be able to, you know, not suck at. So yeah. There's a good old man, Mr. Miyamoto, over there, and it would not be in the canon of Mario if we did not have cutscenes or ones that we can interact with. But man, this was a really fun game, and kind of wish they had put a little bit more unique content into it and not recycled so much. But, you know, we are still missing 17 stars, and there will be a day in the sun that comes after this video, actually, when we collect the rest of them. It's just, it's a wonder, because you wonder, where are they all? We almost silver crowned all of the levels, except for some of the, you know, level 6 ones. But, hey, it's the Jibba Jays, also Supermassive Galaxy. So, it's just going to be one of those instances where I'm just kind of hoping, you know, we'll have ourselves a bit of a fun time and finish everything we want to do. Also, I can't spin jump because I don't have my friend... Luma, Luma, come back! If you're out there, come find me! Please! <laughs> oh, hey, and we're up here. Sweet! Cool. So Freezy Flake can build a snowman with me, you jerks. Please? What about you, Flubba? Please? Help me? There are no Goombas out here. <laughs> so yeah, this is just kind of a fun little thing you can do. Uh, let's make this as big as we can. Push it with our giant nose. Just because we can. Oh, and the Mario Galaxy Orchestra. By God. That did some good stuff. Also, did you guys notice Mario was running in a circle? I was pressing one direction that entire time. Anyways, Yoshi gets to play in the credits with us. Hooray. I don't even know if we get these star bits, but I'm still... Oh, apparently we do, because I had 93 when we ended off, remember? Nice. I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the project. I actually had a lot of fun doing it, regardless of all of the really shitty, unfortunate luck I've had with recording issues. Um, I hope you guys were able to enjoy it. I, I really enjoy doing this type of game. I feel like it's just fun to commentate over it, other than like maybe other stuff. There's a couple of different styles I undertake whenever I do particular projects, and things like platformers that I have a lot of fun with that are really unique like this one, I like to do also. <laughs> There's Bowser here. So yeah, as opposed to like shooters or, you know, story heavy games, it's, it just, they kind of take on a, a different, I don't know, type of their own. Hey, Bowser, how's it going little buddy? <laughs> you mad bro? <laughs> look, at, look at him go, and a little Bowser, he's mad. He didn't die, he merely shrunk to the size of a goddamn thimble. I don't know why I said that, it's such a stupid thing. Also, hooray! Yoshi can eat all of the fruits on this cake! Because he's a vegan! Excellent. Also, get off the cake, Toad! It's insanitary. Hi, Peach. <laughs> Do you enjoy getting a bath by Yoshi? I think she does. Come back! No! This is my story! <laughs> uh, Salon Planet Observatory. The end. Fantastic. Thank you so much for playing my game. Oh, you're welcome, Charles Martinet. You are very welcome. And so with that, I do believe we've opened up the special world. If I haven't been candid about it enough already, or transparent, I guess either of those will work. We still have an entirely new world to contend with, and it's basically World Seven. So I'm excited for that. As here we are in the intro screen. Hooray. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, 
yeah, here's my file, and here, unfortunately, is where I deleted it, because I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, so there's, there's icon, and then erase. And I was trying to double check to see how you can copy, just in case. But I pressed this, and then I accidentally erased it, so we're not going to play around with that. Let's go ahead and see what we have a little bit. I might end up uh, cutting this into two parts. I know it's a little underwhelming to have this sort of finale thing end up in two, but... Oh, you're back! Hey! See, you're ready for more. It's written all over your face! Excellent. So we indeed have more power stars. 17, as a matter of fact. So I'm excited. What do you have to say for me, male toad? You have something for me? Uh, yeah, bro. Oh, hey, check it out. We can now play as Luigi at any time without having to talk to him at the beginning of random stages. So you know what? Just just as kind of a throwback to the, to the previous game, which I played the entirely as Luigi. Uh, let's go talk, let's go find him, shall we? Where is he? I think I tried looking for him earlier on and I just forgot you couldn't. He'll be around here somewhere. He's usually just right over here. Right? So look for the L. I see no L on this strange area. Whatever. We'll, we'll find him later. But for now, we can take a quick look at what we need to do in order to continue. Still gotta give you the prankster mission for that, which is a chimp challenge. Daredevil and regular for that, which I'll do off screen. I'll do the Daredevil on screen. And then we have World S. So obviously it wouldn't be a Mario game without a little bit more of this. But check it out. We have a couple of flashbacks in this area. And can you believe it? Strange legendary world. Interesting. So even more power stars. Let's go get them, Captain. All right, sounds like a plan, sir. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, I will actually go ahead and do that other mission off screen and I will meet you guys for hopefully a prankster comment and then we can get started with World S. I kind of hate this world, actually, so. And we need quite a few. We need at least 110 to get to this last Luma, which requires 2,000. That's so much. Oh, I love this. I love this tune. <sighs> I'll talk to you guys next time.